added to a 3.5 liter sample of a 6 molar solution in order to change the molarity to 1.5 molar. So our dilutions formula is, oops, excuse me, M1V1 equals M2V2, where M is representing the molarity or the concentration of the solution and V is the volume. Uh, so let's label our variables here. So our starting molarity is this 6 molar guy. And it kind of makes sense that your starting molarity, your first molarity is always going to be the larger of the two uh, because we're remember we're diluting this solution. We are making it weaker by adding water. So the concentration of moles of whatever ions are in the solution is always going to go down in relation to the amount of water. If we increase the amount of water, the concentration goes down. So M1 is 6 molar, and that is uh, a 3.5 liter sample of that solution. And so we're trying to turn this into a 1.5 molar solution, and we need to know how much water we have to add. Okay, well, first off, let's remember that this V2 is going to represent the final volume. So kind of think about that as you get your answer. Uh, before you stop too soon. So let's go ahead and uh, fill this in and you know solve for V2. We'll go ahead and rearrange just a little bit. So we have M1, V1 over M2 is all equal to V2. We plug our numbers in. 6 molar times 3.5 liters all divided by 1.5 molar helps if I turn on my calculator. So looks like our final volume is going to be 14 liters. Okay, well remember the question says how much water needs to be added to the 3.5 liter sample. So if our final volume is 14 liters and we start with an initial volume of 3.5, the amount of water that needs to be added is just the difference between those two. So that's what, 11.5, uh, 10.5. 10.5 liters of water needs to be added to that original solution of 3.5 liters in order to dilute it to a 1.5 molar concentration.